And I was on the show with um, several psychics that worked with police departments. Mm -hmm. And after the show, one of the psychics wanted to see me privately. And so I did. And she said to me, now you're going to receive a visit when you least expect it. He saw this. He will see this broadcast. And I thought the lady was, you know, reaching a little bit, but she was very renowned, and she worked with many police departments on these cases. So I went home. About three months later, there was a knock on my door, middle of the night, and I answered the door, and I said, who's there? I didn't open it. I said, who's there? And he's the young man that was outside the door said, it's me, Mom, it's Johnny. There was another young man with him. He came in, I opened the door, and they only stayed about an hour and a half. I foolishly thought he was home to stay, but what he was relating to me was the circumstances of what took place and that they wanted me to get the rest of the story out to help them resolve the case. They wanted action. They're angry. They wanted some kind of resolution. Now, what did and, uh, what did Johnny say in that hour and a half? Who took him? Who took him? Yeah. Did he Did he give you names? He gave me He gave me names. Okay. And after that meeting, and as I said, they only stayed about an right. hour and a half. Right. And then they left. I immediately the next business day, because this was a Sunday night that this happened, I made an appointment with the county attorney. Mm -hmm. And I went in, and I sat there with him, with my private investigator, and I gave him the names, and I gave him all the information that was given to me. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me, and he said, well, these people are, these people are very uh, well known. And I said, well, this is the information I have. Are you going to at least investigate? <laughs> and he says, well, uh, now, now you're asking us to do quite a thing here. Right. And I said, are you going to investigate? And uh, I couldn't get a straight answer out of any of them at the table. No, the answer so is no. I stood no. up and I said, well, gentlemen, the meeting's over. I'll continue to conduct my investigation as always. Don't get in my way and I won't get in yours. And I left. See, at this point, and at, at that point, too, after the runaround I received and the the condemning and all of the things that they did, mm -hmm. I do not have the time of day for them. No, of course not. And even when the photographs surfaced of Johnny in August of 2006, I made those available to the police. And all they did was try to discredit the photos. At a later time, I received 500 more photos. And there were some of Johnny on that disc that I got. But a lot of them were kids that I didn't know. And I, con uh, I contacted the police to let them know that I received it and they could come get it if they wanted to run it through the crime lab for fingerprints or anything that was on the envelope nobody even called me back so then i began working directly through the national center for missing children concerning that disc of photos and they in turn took it to the fbi in washington when the local police and the local fbi found out that it went straight to washington and they were bypassed they then began calling my home, emailing me. They called my private investigator, and the cops said to him, well, can't you do something with her? Can, can't you force her to talk to us? And my private investigator said to them, no, you didn't even have the courtesy to return her call. Right. Her offer to help you now has expired. She will work directly with somebody that's above you. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've been doing ever since. 
It's interesting that at that point in time, uh, you remained alive, to tell you the truth. But I, I know. But being visible makes a difference. Now, I think the question that most people would have to cut to the chase, because it's the part that people who haven't been, uh, you know, intimately involved, okay, so Johnny is now obviously pushing 40, let's face it. So why is it that Johnny can't come out and say, hey, I'm Johnny, and this is Mom, and here I am? I think that from what I've learned, it would turn into a complete media circus if he did. So what? Right now, wherever he's living, he can hide in plain sight. He probably doesn't bear any resemblance to what he did when he was 12 years old. What is he afraid of, though, for coming out? I would imagine that there probably are people that are involved that are, because his was a human trafficking case. Right. His wasn't the local garden variety pedophile. And I think there's probably people that uh, would not want to see him come out with his story. So he, you Maybe think, his life would be at risk right. at that point. When he talked, at this point, yeah, no, I don't what know. was that? In that hour and a half when he was telling you and he named the names, uh, mm-hmm. by the way, have you ever publicized those names? No. Okay. I have not because right. they have not been charged with no, any all right. crime. All right. And, and I would be the one that would suffer right. with libel or slander. Uh, absolutely. All right. All right. Because they're still, mm-hmm. they're still alive. Right. All right. Uh, when when someone is charged with this, then I can speak or if more they, profusely. Or if they die. Uh, because... At this point, I am not searching for Johnny. Johnny knows where he is, and he knows where I am. What I'm trying to do is continue to piece together and work on the whodunit part. Oh, I, I, I got that. Because I do believe I do believe the case is solvable. There's enough evidence that is still existing, and more develops. People come forward when they no longer feel fear. Um, maybe some of the parties that were involved are dying off because some of them are now old men. And as they kind of kick off the kick the bucket, make the bucket list, then perhaps some of these other victims will feel more comfortable and could come forward with more information. You betcha. You... I don't know if that will happen in my lifetime where these where Johnny could come out into regular life, or if he's going to have to remain wherever he's at. Do you, uh, Noreen, I just want him to. Noreen, do you mind hmm? holding on for a minute? And, and no, staying with fine. us another segment, I'd appreciate it. All right, because sure. I, I want to wrap this up, because I know, uh, firstly, we want to tell you what to do if you may have information, but the other thing, I know you, like me, you're saying, all right, an hour and a half, he said, what happened to him? What is this really about? Although I think maybe we do know, but we'll find out for sure coming up. Oh, well, indeed. All right, the Catalina's TikTok. Time is marching on. We're talking with Noreen Ghosh. JohnnyGhosh.com is one of the websites. There are several online. It is a story uh, really less about the tragedy of a kidnapping than the lack of response from every agency you would think that would be there to uh, protect, mitigate, and investigate such tragedies. But I wanted Noreen to stay with us for a few minutes here because I know that when we talk about, my God, 1997, her, her son came to her and that that's the, the last contact that she got uh, clearly in that hour and a half meeting. Because most people would say, and I've even had people send email already, what do you mean? Uh, you know, she knows where, she, where he is. Now they're back together. Well, things are not always that simple for one thing. So we'll find out what Noreen learned in that hour and a half. What, uh, what did happen to Johnny? What does Johnny know? that happened to others as uh, as well, uh, that uh, that the real story. And uh, then a little personal information, too, because I've, I've never, uh, never found out whether there are more children in that family, what happened to the family unit. Like I say, uh, Noreen was just uh, vilified for remaining vigilant. You can just bet that that cost her a marriage. I don't know for sure, but I, I would almost, we'll find out in a moment. All right, so I wanted to uh, finish up with Noreen Ghosh. I didn't want to leave it on that note. For one thing, Noreen, for people who want to be involved, maybe have information or want information, johnnygosh.com. Are there any other places to go? 